It's an early start to the third round of the BMW Championship, as groups of three all tee off before 9.15 a.m. The early wake-up call does not deter the fans from showing up and supporting Chicago resident and two-time winner in 2011, second-round co-leader Mark Wilson. Among the supporters this week is DJ Gregory, who walks every hole on the PGA Tour for his foundation, Walking for Kids. I have different players each week that play for the foundation, and they donate per birdie and eagle they have for the week. And the amount they donate is totally up to each player. Mark and I talked about it about a month ago, and I asked him if he wanted to play for my foundation this week. It was a hometown game for him, so I thought it'd be kind of neat to follow the hometown guy. Nice par, Mark. Wilson adds to his donations with a birdie at 11, but on a tough afternoon at Cog Hill, where the Dubs Dread course plays three strokes more difficult than on Friday, he struggles to a six over 77 dropping out of contention. That was not a good stroke. Nothing's going right. From Scottsdale, Arizona, please welcome Ches Reeve. The challenging course trips up Ches Reeve Saturday morning, but he rebounds from two bogeys on the front nine to post his second consecutive round of 70 and moves up three spots on the leaderboard. It was a little chilly this morning. It was definitely early, but we hung in there and got it back under par before the day was over. I'm going to come out and shoot as low as I can tomorrow, and you know wherever I finish, I finish, and looking forward to next week. 36-hole co-leader Justin Rose finds more success in round three at Cog Hill. I knew I was out there in front, and I just kept very calm, very comfortable, just kept hitting good shots at the right time, made a few key putts here and there. So I don't feel like I could have done a lot more today. That's a good one. Boy, that had to be going right at the flag. The third member of the final grouping is FedEx Cup points leader Webb Simpson, who stays in the hunt until a double bogey at the 17th. He finishes the third round six shots off the lead. Overall, you know, I thought my game was pretty solid, and you know, Justin played nice, and I seem to be, you know, maybe a little too far back, but you never know around this golf course, and so hopefully the last putt will help me for tomorrow. That's clutch here on 18 with all these people. At 24th in the FedEx Cup, Bill Haas is looking to make a move into the top five in the standings with the top three finish in Chicago. But the 29-year-old suffers the same fate as Simpson when he cards a double at the 16th, dropping him five shots off the lead. In the back of your head, you know nothing's safe. These closing holes are very difficult. You can make anything, as I proved today. Tomorrow, I'm just going to go out and try to play solid golf. If I can shoot a decent number, then uh, a lot of stuff will fall into place. Playing with Haas is John Senden, who enters the week at 55th in the standings and is in need of a good finish to advance to the Tour Championship. A win will also land the Australian a spot on the International President's Cup team. Senden fires a one under 70 to grab a spot in the final pairing again on Sunday. To look a little better for next week and perhaps Royal Melbourne. I feel like I'm, I'm playing well, so I've got to go out there and with uh, you know, the idea of shooting a good score because, uh, you know, who knows what can happen at a funny game. If anything can happen Sunday afternoon. Rose polishes off a near flawless round of 69 with a par save at the last to take the eighth 54-hole lead of his career. He finishes this one off nicely. You just got to go out there, you got to swing free and play as good as you can. It's pretty much that simple. I mean, a uh, four-shot lead isn't a big enough lead to go out and just try and waste holes. You just got to go out and give it 100%.